Good morning, everybody. Again, for the fourth time, Monica Humphrey is with me. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, let's just review for new viewers. We show this is a an exhibit about the, the famous children's author, Mo Willems. Exactly. Right? Mo Willems. Pigeon and Pals is the name of this exhibit that shows a lot of his characters. And we see some. We saw some of his artwork earlier, mm -hmm. uh, which is prodigious. He's written, what, over 70 books? Oh, yeah. So right. many. So many great stories. And then we saw some of the interactive things you're doing here. Mm -hmm. So the next thing we want to do, this is apparently based, I don't know this, you're, I'm being educated here. This is one of his more famous books. This is. This is based on Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. Because, okay. you know, pigeons. Pigeons can't drive buses. But right. the pigeon spends the whole book trying to convince you to let him drive the bus. So you can come and you can drive the bus. You can also uh, read a lot of great stories. We've got a, a selection of books in the bus. You can also come over. Well, now, wait a second. I'm glad you didn't tell us okay. All who right. drives the if the pigeon gets to drive the bus. Oh, then I yeah. would have to put up on the screen, spoiler. Right. So, so we don't right. want to say anything no, about that. read the book. Read the book. Read the and book. And you can find out if the pigeon gets to drive the bus. All right. We're getting a shot of the chaos in there. Yeah, yeah. And tell us now. Let's. Oh, look. We got. We let's walk over here. <laughs> now there is no book. Don't let the children drive the bus. Right. You can drive the bus. So your kiddos can come in here and put on the buses and drive around. Uh, the well, I can't because I can't get in there. No, kiddos. Kiddos can get in there. We can't. Right. <laughs> And tell us what's going on on the phone, and it's not a cell phone. That's a learning experience. You're right. Kids are going, what is that? What yeah. is that? Yeah, but clearly they know exactly what to do. So these phones are really fun because you can pick up the phone, you can talk into it, and it changes your voice into sounding uh -huh. like Piggy or Elephant Gerald. So a lot of fun. Well, you've got lots of school groups here this morning, and the exhibit runs through... May 10th. Right, so let mom drive the bus or dad drive the bus, <laughs> but get over here and see this. Yeah, we're excited to have everybody come in and experience these stories, draw the character themselves, and, and just have a lot of fun. Monica, thanks. Thank you. Very cool. Come visit the greatest children's museum in the world right here in Indianapolis. Back to the studio. I don't think we mentioned that enough. No doubt about Our children's that. museum is fantastic. Rocks. It's it just my, rocks. my adult husband and his adult parents and our, like, you know, yep. one-year-old niece there. And the niece, like, fell asleep. And we just walked around the museum like a bunch of us old guys. We going, had this the, is great. When they had the Star Trek exhibit, yep. my mom wanted to come down because <laughs> she's a big Star Trek fan. And so it was, it was very cool. It's just fun for everybody, Fantastic. right? It's good stuff. That so. exhibit opened through May the 10th, 10th by yep. the way. Very good.